This morning uh, the concentration is on the Japanese yen and the meeting in the Bank of Japan. The yen has been the big story during last week. It has been falling steadily. Uh, yen is today trading on 89.50 against the US dollar. But the development has been very interesting over the last couple of months. And we have seen a steady falling yen up till the point where it has recovered a little bit on profit taking this morning. We have seen more or less the same development both in regards to US dollar and in regards to the euro. The um, Asian markets are uh, steady this morning after big gains last week. Especially the um, uh, Japanese Nikkei is strong and it reached a two and a half year peak on Friday. This week I expect that we would see a continued development with the weaker yen if the Bank of Japan decides to then take the strong monetary easing measures which the new Abe government has demanded. And that is highly likely. Then we could be very close to what observers are calling a currency war with already today uh, the uh, United States uh, car uh, producers complaining about unfair competition from the Japanese. With regards to the euro, the euro has been going a little bit up since Friday. It started positively in uh, Asia with 133.25. It has, uh, it has slowed down a little bit, but is still far above the critical 133 level. The British pound is continuing to fall against both euro and US dollar. On the commodity front, uh, the commodities are still a little bit stronger uh, due to then positive data from uh, uh, labor and the home markets in the United States on Friday, as well as positive uh, GDP results from China. Uh, we are uh, in the process of rebranding and today I would say uh, the best wishes to all of you traders from Mises Investment and uh, then Cyprus. I wish you all a very good trading week.